So today we're looking at how to add a clustered column chart in Microsoft Excel. So the first thing we're going to do is select our data in our table. And then we're going to go to the insert tab if we're not there already. And then we're going to find the chart that we want to add. And so I'm going to start by showing you the recommended chart and I'll show you where to find it on here. So under the recommended chart, sometimes the chart that you want will show up right here. So there you can see that looks like the chart we want. And so that may be a very quick and fast way to do that. If you do not see it under recommended, you can go to all charts and then you can see all the different types of charts there as well. And you can tab through and see which ones look like the one that you're wanting to use. Another way you can do this is to go straight to that type. And so for the clustered column, it would be here under the 2D columns and the clustered column there. You can also pick a 3D version if you like as well. So we're going to just start with this and I want to show you how to edit and change this if needed, if it doesn't show up quite like what you're needing. So in this case, we have a little error here. We have the year showing up as one of the series instead of being this axis. And so the way we can adjust and fix this is with our chart selected, we'll go to select data and then we just need to delete it from this series and add it as a axis label. So we can just select it here, click remove, and then we just need to edit this and select our range of years here and then hit OK. So we don't need to select that B2 or that top one, just the actual data and then click OK and OK. And there we go. Now we have where we were with that suggested chart. All right, so we can do some quick chart styling here. If you want to just pick a style that quickly changes a lot of how that looks right out the gate and that can shortcut some of the things that you may have to do manually otherwise. Then you can just do some quick things like changing the chart title and you can call this whatever you need to to make sense. And then you can adjust different things like the colors and so you can go through here and just select a color scheme for those or you can even click on one of these series and go to fill for example and select that color here manually or even add more there as well. So depending on how granular you want to get, this would be a quick way to change those colors without having to go through each one. And then another thing you can do as well, if you go over here on this plus, you can add some quick things like if you want to add data labels with these. And so we can select those as well and change those options. And so for example, we can change the formatting. We can change where they show up. And again, right now I'm just selecting one series. You can adjust those as needed there. And you can also go through and change a bunch of other different options. For example, if you want to add shadows and all different kinds of stuff to those as well. And so when you're finished adjusting those options, you can also determine, for example, where you want this legend to be. For example, if you want the top, bottom left, right, or even top right there. And so you have lots of different options that you can add there as well. And if you want to do something like change the size of these labels, you can just click on them, right click and go to font, and then you could adjust those sizes here. So you can just type in a size as an example and just go through and do these as well. And make sure you get all of them there. We can adjust them as needed to make them fit in the space that you have. So we may want to change these down a little bit more, maybe make it like six. And when we get those done, then they'll fit more evenly in that space. Another thing that you could potentially do is resize the chart as well, which you don't necessarily always have that room to resize. You can resize the chart as needed to fit the space as well. And that will help your data fit better as well. So once you have the chart adjusted the way you need it and like it, then you can proceed on with the rest of your project. So that is it for today's video on clustered column charts in Microsoft Excel. Make sure to check out Coefficient for all your automation and data needs.